and three, two, one, now. Hi, I'm Lewis Lightning. Welcome back to the Unfinished Swan. So, we just got to the top, well, this midpoint of the tower. I'm back in the board, just so you know. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go out this door here. There's nothing really in this room, as you can see. So we'll go out the door. I mean, there's the swan's footprints. And I said before, you want to follow those whenever you see them. Ah, the swan goes up the wall. Over here. Yep. Yep, trying to make this one a little bit lower. Extend it out. I thought I was going to jump too far. Do the same thing over here. Right on the edge. Oops. Oh, what the? That was weird. Come on! Something's going on here. I think that other ball that falls didn't land. And once it lands, it screws up my uh, progress. So that's, I could probably make this jump, but I'm gonna put some insurance on it. Make this puppy here. Now we're up here. You got this ladder. Yep. No, 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 don't wanna go off. What the hell? We go up, 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 up. Boom. So we're on the top of this tower. It looks like there's an, it's an observatory of some sort. Take a look here. There's a telescope. There's King's Castle. So there's like a doorway to get back to the regular world. It was the King's Monument, I should say, not castle. And zoom in more and more. There's something on the moon. Oh! A little shout out to Journey there. Um, and you saw the falling stars before. That's kind of cool. This is a really cool part. A lot of people like. Uh, have talked about this that it was really awesome. And I agree. It's pretty cool that they said, "Yeah, let's include this." So we're gonna go out, but not go too far. We fall off the edge and start back up again. So we're gonna find a way back to the real world. So I'm gonna swan figured out a way, and I think the simplest way to do it is to make a pad here and go as far out as you can. And then, just get up to it, the edge, jump, gravity will swap you around, and you'll be back here, right by the, uh, uh, so it's called drafting board, I think it is, that you came in on, or came in through, jump, jump, boom, but you see, it's not really the same once you come in the real world, we went out here, there was like, there was a gazebo, and there were some towers and stuff, but you'll see it's not really quite the same. Made it up. The swan's footprints over there. I'm getting really better at this uh, balance board stuff. It's feeling a little bit easier. Um, obviously because I've been doing it for so long. Let's just go this way. No spiders to worry about. Getting closer to this king's monument. <laughs> On the night before the queen was to give birth, she left. All she took was a single, unfinished painting. When the king woke, he found no explanation, and he never did. So it's funny that the king, like, didn't even know she was pregnant, but he knocked her up. <laughs> like, um, this king an idiot? Like, what about his parents? So there's a boat here. We're gonna go to that island, obviously. To get in, a little switch. Boop. Got a light, starts the engine, closer and closer to this monument. As you can see there's something else here to read. King's Monument. I thought it was out here. For nine years, the king didn't paint a thing. Then... He had a vision, a colossal Sorry. monument of himself that would be his legacy for the ages. But he hadn't even finished painting the scale model, which was over 100 feet tall itself, when his powers began to fail. So this is the scale model, this thing here. So you wanted it really big. So the paint splats don't really help in this area, as it's so much darkness, but you can kind of make out, whoop, fell off. Fell off. You can kind of make out where you're supposed to go. It gets a bit tricky later. 
Especially because like a lot of these railings, you don't really know, you know, where exactly they go. Because they look like sometimes they can connect one way, go over here and back. But whatever, we're at the top now. The king never finished another painting. Then one night he went to sleep and couldn't even finish his own dream. And he's been trapped inside it ever since. That must be why he was sitting in that chair not moving when we spotted him. He's got a lot of security here. <laughs> like electric fence. All the way around, he can't get in. But we can maybe shut off the power. The cables are going over here. And that's where the swan's going. And down here's the balloon. You can't fall, so don't worry. You tried. But you can't fall, so just gotta throw paint splat down there and hit the balloon. It's a little bit tricky because it's such a narrow space, but you can do it. And I, I don't know, I've never got zapped here, so I wouldn't worry about getting zapped. This is weird, it's like a lemon tree. You knock it out. Oops, the alarm's gone off. You knock the power off. Oh, the water's flooding up through that hole. But we can use that, or the lid, as a way across. On the ladder. <laughs> Gotta keep out of the water here. This part can be really tricky. And like I said, because it's black on black, it's really hard to see what the hell you're doing. But if you want an instructional video, I should be able to do this in one go. Just watch me. Watch where I go, you can figure it out. Go up here. Don't stay up here. Did you get on the table? And I fell off the board. The table's ripped, so it floats, right? And you don't want to splat the pictures. <laughs> Doesn't make a difference. You can splat them if you want. Out the window. That was a nice shot. Aw, there's a king and his kid. Another picture of the king. I like all these, all these pictures of the king. Oh, oh, I'm gonna go to the door. Now you just wait until you go pop over the top. And then over here. On this wood. Ah, no, I'm dead. Okay, yeah, on the wood, up here. See, that was kind of bad. I, I couldn't tell where to go. I didn't get a chance to really look around. Go this way, basically keep going up. If you find yourself not going up, you're going the wrong way. Um, there's a balloon over somewhere over here too. Uh, you probably could die when you try to get it, but if you're looking for all balloons, that's where you'll find it. Yeah. Off the board. Sorry, I gotta get back on them. Keep playing, because I don't want to die again. Climb this ladder. Uh, back this way. There's a swan. Jump onto this. Hit the switch. There's a swan going. Oh my god. The king. Bam. Well, there's only one place to go now. That's up his nose. He's like he's got one nostril he can go in. And it uh, goes over into a cutscene. Now, actually, I didn't get to hear this before because my audio stood there cut out. Trying to think of something to say, the statue shuddered and the hatch slammed shut. And now there was no more need for talking. The king was awake. We made it to the king. I don't see what time it is. Oh, we got 10 minutes. Maybe we can wrap it up. No, man, this is gonna be really short. This game, if we can wrap it up here, or we'll at least get to a checkpoint. Maybe we'll go over for the first time. Ah, it's you, the boy from my dream. What a strange dream it was. My life's work was being destroyed and all I could do was watch. Come, sit here by the fire. It all began right there, in the house I grew up in. Yep. Oh, I heard cool. A heavy knocking at the door, just like on the night I left. <gasps> it's me, but I'm the king, not Monroe. It's kind of cool. I like how he doesn't actually move. His feet or anything, but he moves. Oh, that's really cool looking uh, 
sketch chair. There's knocking at the door. Let's see what it is. I opened the door, but there was nothing there. Just white space. Hmm. Hallway here. Hmm, there's a box. Corner. But when I got outside, <gasps> disaster. Some miscreant had painted everything. My garden was ruined. <laughs> Wonder who that was. Oh, sorry, I gotta get this board. I'm not stable on it. There we go. Yeah, and then you can figure out who did this. It's kind of different from when you were here before. And then my statue spoke and said, Help me! Some little hooligan is running around splattering everything in the garden. I think he's headed for the... <laughs> Some of it got in my mouth. Oh, dear. Interesting note, uh, in case you care. I saw my unfinished labyrinth, abandoned and forgotten. Ba -ba boom Hope no one's in there. Pink splats. Um, yeah, in case you didn't know and are interested, that's Terry Gilliam. I uh, hope I said that right. From Monty Python. Appeared. Your dreams have credits? Oh yes, and subtitles. Can I make this jump? I can make this jump. Yep, yeah, made it. That was cool, the credits pop up now. Some vines to move around here. And then I saw my beautiful city strangled by those disgusting vines. I built it Rip to stand down, I guess. a hundred lifetimes, and instead, it'll be buried in one. A monument for weeds. Swan! <laughs> Poking his head over here. But yes, Terry Gilliam, that's the voice we're hearing from uh, Monty Python. Um, I like Monty Python. Hopefully, if you do too, you'll appreciate that. The dining hall was full of people, like the old days. It smelled like roasted goose. For a moment, I was happy. Oh, you can see I gotten a little bit older. Quite a bit older. Oh. And suddenly, I was alone again. The world had become cold and dark. I felt my own death rising up around me. So this is like the end of the game, so I'm trying to just get through it really quick. So you can pick up the boxes here. Come on. I don't want this one though, it's not big enough. You need to make a real big flat area. Try to make it really uh, shallow, I guess, the best way to say it, so that you can uh, have a lot of... You can ride on it pretty easily. Just get difficult. There. Ride down the river. Julie Kari is the narrator. There's probably some balloons in this area, but you should be able to see them. I don't remember them being very hard to find. You can hit these things too if you want extra light. past chunks of the house I built, or started building. Scarcely ten years later, and the whole thing was in ruins. My works were meant to last forever, but most of them will be gone before I am. The king was terribly late. Well, I just kind of fell a bit there. I was at a funeral. My own, as it turned out. No one was there. Except you. Hey! Get him! Foster. Ah! 
Ah, yeah, he's gone. Swan. It's evil. There I am, the king. All dead. Slack, 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 slack. <laughs> uh, these plane splats don't last though. Woo, how? I'm me again. I saw my monument. My last hope of leaving something that would live on after me. And I began to walk towards it. I'm going to do that. With each step I took, I got larger. Shit, I'm still controlling this. Like, I stop, it I stops. I just kept growing and growing like a teenager. I'm going to kick your ass, statue. With a gentle push. <laughs> Sank. I saw my life's work laid out in front of me. Soon it would crumble into dust or be painted over by someone who would come after me. The same way the I one painted over what was here before me. It's the one with the labyrinth. It's a huge labyrinth. And now I don't think I'm in control. When the universe ended, I knew that everything I'd made was over. And as I sat there, Looking out into the darkness, I thought back on all the things I'd built. Still on the board, it's kind of bullshit. I, didn't like to play all, all I realized there. something. I wasn't sad that it was all gone. I had fun making all that stuff. I would have done it anyway. And then, somehow, I knew that when I woke up, all my work really would be destroyed. And that's when you showed up. I don't know how you got here, but I'm glad to see you. I have something for you. This brush isn't mine anymore. Brush. My work is over. It belongs to you now. I hope it makes you happy. Really started. That someday they will say he is a better man than his father. That door will take you anywhere you want to go. But leave quickly, child. None of this will last for long. And that night, even though he was very tired, Monroe did something that would have made his mother very happy. He painted. Oh, baby swans. Baby swans called signets. Just so you know, baby swan is a signet. This is pro uh, I'm asking people a lot. <laughs> What's a baby chicken called? And it's a chick. What's a baby duck called? Duckling. What's a baby goose called? Gosling. And most of them have trouble with that one. And so what's a baby swan called? And there's no one that I've met so far who knows it. So now you know. Baby swan's called a signet. And we're done. And we might be a little bit over. That's okay. No, we're not. We're still under. Uh, so I got... This game's all wrapped up. Like I said, it's really short. Did it all on the balance board. Congratulations to me. Even if you guys don't care, I'm proud I did it all. Um, just so you know, the next game we'll be playing is going to be... Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. I played Red Dead, it was one of the first games I played on here for you guys. Um, and I said I was going to do the multiplayer for it before, but I never actually got around to it because I wanted to do Undead Nightmare as well. Um, it kind of ties into the story, you'll see. But after I'm finished Undead Nightmare, I'll be playing online um, multiplayer for that. So if you're interested, watch, watch my uh, Undead Nightmare video playthrough. You'll find out when I get to the end what time, what days and time I'll be playing the multiplayer for the fans. So yeah, there's that to stay tuned for. So if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoyed all the episodes thus far, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is a great game. If you have a few bucks to throw down and buy a PSN game, I recommend this one. It's really good. Um, there's lots of good ones, but it's, this one's fairly short, fairly cheap. I mean, there's also Journey, which is really good, and Machinarium. But yeah, uh, this one gets my recommendation, and I hope you check it out. Thanks. Bye.